to you good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm so glad Jesus is in charge. I welcome you, Potter's House family. I just come by to encourage you and to pray with you and to give you some scriptures, in particular Mark chapter 4, verses 4 to 9. I want you to mark the notification button on your device for future messages. Mark chapter 4, verses 4 to 9, talks about four different soils. In a time of uncertainty, in a time where it's very easy to become discouraged, we need to go back to the Word of God. Isaiah 41 tells us, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you. We're going to have to go back to the Word. It is a source of all sources. In Mark chapter 4, if you're reading your Bible or taking notes, verses 4 to 9 talks about four different soils. Jesus uses them as an illustration to tell us that the Word of God is the only powerful thing in our life that helps us to live by faith and not by sight. The first soil he talks about in verse 4 of Mark chapter 4 is the shallow soil. And how the seed lands upon the soil, it begins to grow, but because it doesn't have enough soil, it, it, it withers away and never germinates into what it needs to be. And this is the person that hears the word, is excited about, about it, but never really applies it, never becomes established, never allows the word to become rooted in their life and take part of every part of their life. And because of this, the seed withers. The second soil is found in verse 5 of Mark chapter 4. And this is the rocky soil. This is the seed that falls among the rocks and it has no moisture, so it doesn't germinate. And the sun scorches it. This represents the trials of life, the things that we don't understand. We either submit them to God or they overwhelm us. And the trials of life scorch the seed and it never becomes fruitful. Finally, in verse 7, it talks about another soil, the thorny soil. And Jesus said this seed falls among thorns. It doesn't have moisture. It doesn't have soil. And so it withers immediately. And what causes it to wither, the scripture says in Mark chapter 4, verse 7, is the cares of life. It chokes the word and it becomes unfruitful. It's so easy to be overwhelmed today because of circumstances people, places, and things, and things we don't understand. And if we keep our eye on these things, we'll be led astray. The scripture tells us clearly, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. The Bible says the grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but he that does the will of God, he abides forever. In these days that we're living in, we need to understand that the word of God is our only help and hope. It is the bedrock of our life. It's the roadmap of life. Finally, verse 8 clearly tells us that some seed lands on good ground. That good ground is, is the Word of God finding a place of soil and moisture. It represents a soft heart, a heart of humility, a heart that says, I don't understand these circumstances, but Lord, my life is in your hands. A heart that says, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but I'm going to live one day at a time. Help me to trust you today. It's a heart of humility. And that seed is germinate and it germinates and you learn to walk by faith and not by sight. And you understand that the word of God is activated on a, on a day by day basis. I just want to encourage you today. Keep your trust in the Lord and go back to the word. It is the bedrock of our life. It will keep us stable through every circumstance. And even the coronavirus has to die in light of the word of God. You'll say to the mountain, be thou removed and cast into the sea. I want to pray with you and just encourage you that the Lord is in charge and he's going to work this out for his glory. Let's pray. Father, thank you. Give us the grace that only you can give. Give us the courage only you can give. Strengthen our heart. I thank you that we received you as Savior that you died on the cross for our sins and you took our sins upon yourself and you gave us spiritual liberty. Help us to bring glory and honor upon you and for you toward others. 
Help us to bring glory to your name. Help us to be a witness in these last days. I thank you for your kindness and your grace. I receive you in my heart, my mind, and my spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to just remind you, hit that notification button. I'll be back with you soon for more messages. The Lord's in charge, and I'm excited because he's coming back soon. God bless you.